Alrighty guys, I'm sure you guys have heard about, you know, um, this Android unit by now. I've been posting a lot of videos about this. Um, I've talked about CarPlay, I've talked about overall functionality, I've talked about the rear view camera, installation, all that. So, um, the last thing I want to go over is for all of you N54 users out there, or 55 for that matter, um, there is the MHD app. So, as you guys may know, the MHD app is something you can put on an Android device. Uh, for example, I have um, over here, I got this a little Android uh, Samsung phone over here, which I've been using to tune my car. Um, I've got the MHD wireless adapter down there, um, which is awesome because I can actually use the MHD app on my Android display um, to monitor stuff. Now, I don't think you can tune the car with this as the car does rely on the power um, of, I mean, sorry, the unit re relies on the power of the car um, to actually function, so I don't think that would work. Um, but all you have to do is you have to connect to your car's MHD adapter's Wi-Fi, which right now I'm on my house Wi-Fi, but there's MHD right there. I'm gonna connect to that. Then we're gonna go back to the MHD um, Flasher app. There we go. And check that out. We got live, um, basically analytics from the car. So we got got a boost gauge right there. Right now it's in vacuum. Obviously it's not moving. Coolant, transmission temp, intake air temp. I got low fuel pressure sensor, fuel rail pressure right there, accelerator position. Um, that, that's all pretty live. And um, I can actually add, you know, I can change which gauge it is. I can change the style of the gauge. Right now it's on sweep. I can do mechanical, which looks like this. Um, if, you're, if you're familiar with the MHD, then you know how this works. Um, but it's right here. So in my center console right there, my dash, I have all my live values, which is awesome. And I can record, um, do data logging and all that. It saves on this unit itself. And I can even, you know, read some codes. I can read DME codes if I needed to, reset adaptations on the fly. So it's great to have over here if I need it. And, um, you know, if you, ever, if you, if you don't have the um, MHD Wi-Fi adapter, you can use the KDCAN cable, like the old school way. Be kind of ghetto, you have to kind of run it across here and plug in the USB ports over there. But I'm sure you can set up in a way where you can make it feasible. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, you know, I, I use this a lot just that when I do some new things with the car, I want to check the, you know, the, the fuel pressure live. I want to check the, um, you know, boost levels. If I have a boost leak, you know, I'm not hitting the same, um, you know, boost levels as unstable connection there for some reason, but probably just because I'm trying to connect to my house Wi-Fi at the same time. But, uh, you know, usually it's pretty reliable. I don't really have any issues with it, but yeah, um, I think it's pretty awesome. Just the fact that I have this available over here, I can monitor the codes of the car if I ever get a check engine light. Which, you know, if you have known if if you own an F54, it's going to happen to you at some point. So, it's great to have on this Android unit itself. So, that wraps another Android unit uh, video. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about it. And yeah, peace out.